My name is Tyler Hanslin. I'm here to pick up property that was, that was seized from me several days ago. Uh, I've been told it's available for me to pick up now. I was called last night at 10.30 at night by the impounding officer and was told that I needed to come pick up my property that night before one o'clock in the morning or face a week-long holding fee because he wasn't going to be available for a following week and that it was only him that was be able to sign it out, discharge it to me. Um, I told him that I would look into potentially coming down and picking it up. He called me, some, he said, the younger officer called me up at 11 o'clock then, that, to which time he then offered to find me and give me a ride to the police station at midnight. Um, I have both those, I have two messages from them. And then the third message I received at 12.20, which was just a blank message inside of a squad car driving around. And I called them back uh, uh, closer to one o'clock and said that I, there would be no way that I'll be coming to pick up my, my property that evening, at which time Officer Kelly, uh, Sergeant Kelly's story completely changed to now that it would be okay to deal with all this in the morning, with this following afternoon being now, and then now I'm to deal with Officer Cox and Officer Cox to get my property back. The door's locked. Step one, door's locked. It's supposed to be open Tuesday to 4 p.m. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. All right. Sunday. So Didn't you make, I thought you made an appointment for today at 2. I did. I guess I should go call. So you did set up an appointment I have for an appointment this time for and 2 o'clock with Officer Cox. 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. with Officer Cox. I made it last night at 12.45 in the morning with Sergeant Kelly. And a brief message. Hi, yeah, this is Tyler Hanslin. I had an appointment with Officer Cox this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Hey, this is Tyler Hanslin again. Still outside the Ware Police Department here in beautiful Ware, New Hampshire. Um, my appointment with Officer Cox that I made with Officer Kelly last night around 1.32 a.m. Um, apparently is no longer being upheld by the department. Um, no one's answering the door, no one's answering the phones. I've called and left a message for Officer Cox, left my phone number, um, and there's still no response. Uh, we've gone to both doors. Uh, and so I guess this is just the, going to be the follow-up and the wrap-up here that, that uh, we're just gonna give up very much um, and uh, that I don't know what else I can do other than make my appointment for two o'clock on the nose and knock on the door and make phone calls and leave messages. Not much more we can do. So who are you calling? What's going on? I'm calling officer, I'm gonna call Ware Police Department again and this time try to be punched through to Officer Cox's uh, line so I can leave him a message directly. Voicemail. Hello there, Officer Cox. This is Tyler Hanslin. I have a two o'clock appointment with you to pick up my property this afternoon. I'm currently waiting outside the where to police police department. If you want, meet us right in the front, and we'll let you. Sure. We'll help you out. Thank you very much, Officer. You can come in. Uh, who are these guys? Who are these guys? These are friends. Yeah, these friends. Are, I need to document. Uh, well, you can come in. These guys here will have to stay out because we have the paperwork and all that stuff, right? We can have everybody. I'd like to stay in the lobby. All right. Do you have a driver's license then? Sure. One second. Sure. That's the wrong one, yeah. How you doing? Who are we looking for? Great. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler, come on in, sir. Okay, good. Let's stand a lot of this. Well, no, I need to... You, 
you got to sign for some stuff, so come on in. sign the lobby, please, sir. Sir, I'm telling you right now, I need you to come into the office, okay? This isn't done. This isn't part of our program here. We don't work out here. This is a lobby for people waiting. You're not waiting. Come on in. All right, now everybody else, go on in, go on in. Brandon, take him real quick. Everybody else, you're going to have to leave. This building is closed, so go ahead and take your stuff outside. Right, yeah, yeah. Officer Cox, Kenneth Cox, we're a police department. Thank you. I'll have him out here shortly. You should have a recorder on him. Yeah. We actually need to talk to, uh, to you as well about the vehicle. How much longer should the process of returning his property take? Officer? How much longer should this take, officer? Officer, any idea how much longer uh, returning the property is going to take? It's going to take too much longer. It's just a lot of paperwork, that's all. I see. Okay, so 355, and you actually got to speak to somebody. What happened? Well, um, he had told the residents, other residents of the town, not to let us even in the doors when they went in. So when they were coming out, I kind of put my foot in the door. Um, actually, the woman was trying to close it. She must have told him to close it, so I couldn't go in and speak with them. And he's never seen me before. I've never been here before, and he said they'll be out in 10 minutes. I didn't ask him any questions. Um, well, first he said they'll be right out, and I said, what, five minutes? And he said closer to ten. So I said, okay, if in ten minutes they're not out, I'm going to start knocking again. So hopefully ten minutes. Did he react to that? Um, he said, okay. He said, please move your, you can't block the door, you can't block the door a couple times as well. So we'll see. Tyler and Jared, they've been arrested. We He's don't know arrested. what the charges are. Tyler, Tyler? and Di. That's what? why the police called them here, to arrest them out of the public eye. Sam called, and uh, they asked Sam to tell all your friends to stop calling the police station. <laughs> you got more friends than you know. All right, we'll all right. Good luck. Just Thanks, let us know. And Tyler, Tyler. Take care. Thanks, guys. Okay, this is Tyler Hanslin on report. Uh, we've left the police station. We're now down the street at Dunkin' Donuts, um, which is ironic. Um, and so I went down this afternoon to meet with Officer Cox, who loves his country and I think should uh, be presented with potentially some Oath Keeper material because I think he'd be interested in that. Um, I think he's genuinely a good person. Um, and. Uh, I went down there, I had a meeting at 2 o'clock with Officer Cox, and at which time I was arrested. Um, the, the charge was possession of a controlled substance. Um, uh, my court date is uh, the 27th of next month, and uh, I've now been released. I've been arrested and processed. Uh, they were very interested uh, in, in, in t talking about uh, leaders of organization, um, of what the goal of, of an organization for, such as the Free State Project would be. I said I had no comment on any of that. I said I'm certainly not a leader. I certainly don't know any leaders in, in any movements. Um, and and that, that someone needs to speak for, for, for the project or whatnot if they want to talk about goals and whatnot. And, and, um, so they, you know, kept on trying to incriminate me, and and, uh, and uh, I left 
uh, kind of shook up a bit. Uh, you know, they were calling my house last night in the middle of the night, uh, trying to find me, uh, trying to find me and bring me out there. Um, so as it stands right now, that's where it is. I guess we go to trial, um, or I, I, I stand before the judge on the 27th, rather. Um, and uh, that's it. And uh, uh, I'd like to salute all the people in the town of Ware and, and encourage them all to stand up for their God-given rights of freedom and to take part in civil action, um, in peaceful civil action against the fascist state um, that's infringing upon their rights to human beings. Thank you.